people of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blackspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. I'm having one of them days where everything makes me tired. <laughs> In the meantime, I have a special cut that I made, a uh, soap that I made, and it's time to cut it. And I decided I'm not going to use my shower room um, cutter, and I'm not going to use the cheese cutter, and I'm not going to use the slab mode cutter because I have one of these, which is it's actually a cheese cutter, but it fits perfectly in the size of the mode. And because of the way I'm doing this, I want them all to go directly back into um, the mold and maintain the same shape. So what I did was I got this one ready to compete with this one. I couldn't find the um, cover that slides in the mold, so I just used my Olipa. 5 inch by 24 inch ruler because it's the same dimensions. Anyway, this soap is called the Double Helix or DNA. <laughs> That's why you don't balance the places that it doesn't go. Anyway, this is made for a very specific family and their DNA is all through here, I'm telling you. <laughs> I will explain that in a second. First, let's get this out of here. Which is not going to be easy because the way... Oh, let me show it to you first. This is the way the soap looks. I'm trying to get better pictures. But anyway, because it's got a silicone liner... And then some of it went over the side. Of course, it's sticking to the side. So I'm just going to take a butter knife and loosen that seal. There. That should come out easier. It smells amazing. This is lavender and lemon. And stubborn. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I tilt it at an angle. And then tilt it at the opposite angle. And yes, it's releasing very slowly. Can't wait to see what this looks like on the inside. Because I know what all went into it. This is actually a double mantra with a drop squirrel center. Okay. I know I'm not supposed to balance things, but you hear a crash? Gotta be why. <laughs> now, let's do this, shall we? I don't know if that makes it better or worse. But it has six primary colors. It has a red to represent a woman named Nikki. It has a blue to represent a man named Jason. They're married and they have three kids. One is the yellow color. The other child is the pink color. And then there's a third child, which is blue. And then there's white to represent the purity of Jesus, because this is for my pastor's family. And the DNA swirl, I'm going to name it the low hand, no, low horn DNA. I do want to say low hand, but their name is low horn. Oh, that came out nice. Okie dokie. I'm not going to actually need this. I'm thinking I'm just going to 
put it right back in here. But let's put that there. Let's put this where you can see it. Is that gorgeous or what? Like I said, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like on the inside. I'm just glad the colors are popping because on the top, it kind of muddied out on me. So, let's put this on the paper towel. It's solid enough. And let's see what I get. Well, first, let's scoot it up so it's wide enough. Let's get it where the camera can pick it up. Is that gorgeous or what? I'm just glad the blue showed through. And this one right here that looks green is actually a different color blue. But this is Jason, Nikki, um, Paige, H Hannah, and Ellie. And a couple of touches of Jesus in there. Yes, yes. I'm so glad I thought they used this cheese cutter. Wow. Oh, and this soap is lard based. And that's a better angle to show it. It's got. cheat sheet right here. That's the wrong cheat sheet. Oh, don't I find it. It's got coconut, lard, canola, lemon, essential oil, and lavender fragrance oil. Yeah. That's it. And then a couple of fun colors, as you can see. So happy with the way that turned out. There we go. And then I gotta remember to put it back in the way it came out. So that way it evens out. But since this is a soap with lard in it, I didn't want to, you know, have the crumble crumble that I get when I use, you know, the standard cutters that I use. That's why I chose this method. Now, it did accelerate on me, which is why the drop swirl didn't go all the way through and blend when I made the mantra portion of it. But it does look very good from, you know, what I'm seeing, especially since it's a soap that accelerated and had a few issues. Usually, if a soap has issues, it don't look all nice and fun like that and it's got a couple of bits of the oil that's seeping right there but that'll reabsorb and I still need the pH test so I'm not worried about it but now I'll show you what we got it's lining up in the mode exactly the way it came out of the mode but, uh, so I'm thinking this idea is going to be a keeper. I just got to make sure I have a more steady hand because I've been crooked on a couple of these. I'm going to make 10 bars with this method, which is good because there's five people in that family. So it means everybody will get two. Nope, that one's backwards. 
I thought of this when I was making that chocolate soap and literally had to rearrange it three times before I got in there right. <laughs> but I also learned from that process that if you get it wrong, trying to figure it out, it's like putting together puzzles and I can't do puzzles. I wasn't really good at puzzles before the stroke and now it's like my brain just don't make the leap to problem solving and such. There we go. I'm loving this. And then when I make the, see I was supposed to make the test batch first and then continue on, but I didn't do that, so basically when, because I now know what I did wrong, my oils were too cool, while my live water was still too hot, and it caused an acceleration, but look, how pretty, yay, but it still looks rather cool to me, so, get this one on, just right back to him. Well, the last piece ain't trying to go back in there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And here we have the low horn DNA. Is that pretty or what? And I'll take a couple of stills with the camera if possible. If not, I'll just take it out, take a couple of pictures, and then put them back in. And that way I can show you, after it's gifted, <laughs> what it's going to look like. In the meantime, this is the blade I usually use for that with the shower rim. I'm just going to call this cutter Charlie. Yeah, because it's a Charu Rim cutter whose name I can never say right. But since it starts with Char, Charlie, so you know, there's another pattern, for, well, not pattern, recipe for another soap. I was looking over here for my pH strips, which I have apparently. For reasons beyond my comprehension, moved out of my own way. So let's look over here. Because I usually put things in one of two places. There they are. See? I'm predictable even to myself. <sighs> And today I found out my insurance is back. Well, I just don't know how much of a blessing that has been because, well, I've had people yell at me over this situation. What are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm not going to be upset about it. That just will cause me more grief. Anyway, got a little water on the pH strip. And instead of disturbing that, I'm just going to take the one that popped off of there. And test that. Wow, it's green already. Ta da! It's in the green zone. That means it's safe. It's safe. It's safe to use. But then again, I am also. Yep. That part spoiled. I'm also going to give it a very, very long cure time. This is a housewoman gift, so since, you know, closing and moving and all that stuff should take three to six weeks, they won't know about this until that time has passed, and by that time, it will be already cured and everything. So this has been People of 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People Elsewhere on the Internet. 
My blog is located at purplebutterfly-peepla.blogspot.com and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at peepla.etsy.com. This is the low hand DNA. I'm also going to make another Helix Swirl and a African Black Soap today. And the second Helix Swirl or the DNA Swirl, that one will be for sale. This is not for sale. But it is gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. So let's see if you can see the helix pattern in there. I don't know. But I'm just happy it came out properly. Yay. Bye.